YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. Welcome to my review for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue 121. I believe this is the penultimate issue before the current main run ends. We still don't know where we're going after here, but it seems like there is going to be some announcements. I mean, we did just recently get that announcement of that one shot where they cross over with Unagi. Ah! Unagi. There's going to be more comics, we just don't know in what form. And it kind of makes sense that we might get a new main run soon. I honestly think there might be, just because they also recently announced, like, the current Star Wars and Darth Vader comics are coming to an end, but it's going to be replaced by something else, so it's not that unusual. I don't know, we'll see. But the bottom line is, this is the penultimate issue. And I did enjoy it. I have some mixed feelings about some things. I thought it was interesting. Uh, the ghosts. I do really like that they took some time for some sort of character moments here, given that this is a penultimate issue. Obviously, a lot of it was in service of setting things up, but that's something I have appreciated from time to time in this arc, if they have taken time to do some character work and do some perspectives, and it's not just all action all the time. It primarily revolves around Billy trying to figure out what to do with this situation as he's being haunted by this kind of morphing grid ghost of grace that he thinks is his subconscious and it kind of reflects on his perspective and also like him learning about shattered grid because like everybody else over the course of all these arcs has eventually learned what happened and he's like the only one that didn't know which is interesting and he goes to talk to kia he goes to talk to jason and he's talking to grace the whole time and is trying to figure out oh he's talking to the phantom ranger and kendall as well of their plan because they're trying to like keep this barrier up and effectively, when he learns about Shattered Grid and he's talking to Grace, he's reflecting on this perspective of people that kind of like Kia or I guess even Jason to a degree or uh, Draken doing what they had to do, like even if it's a choice that seems unpopular. Trying to decide whether to make a drastic decision, which is to blow up the power eggs, which was what Kia was trying to do and whether that's the right decision. And I did like this. I thought it was interesting because it called back to uh, when Billy was disagreeing with Zordon about the Green Ranger stuff and there was that falling out. I am a little bit mixed on it just because I don't think it 100% fits. Like if I'm being honest, I feel like I never really understood a lot of the deeper reasons why Billy was going against Zordon. Not in the sense that I was against him helping with the Green Ranger, but it just felt like he thought that was not a terrible idea and didn't understand why Zordon was against it. Whereas this, I think, went a little bit deeper and tried to connect it in a way that just didn't gel with me. Like, in a way, I feel like this story would almost go more to Jason because he talks about how he connected with Grace because of their similarities over trying to make the hard decisions and whatnot and going against Zordon and, like, him understanding why she did that when she stole Green Psycho's dagger. And I was just thinking Jason would have fit more for this because they have kind of a parallel there back when Jason led the Omegas to abducting Draken or taking Draken with them during the uh, Imperial arc. So I don't know. I mean, Jason hasn't been so involved in this story. I think this was his second or maybe third appearance in the story so far. So like the way the story is flowing, it wouldn't have made sense for Jason to all of a sudden be prominent. But I'm just talking character wise. I think the, the parallels would have made more sense for him and Grace because of the similar experience of being a ranger and going against Zordon and thinking that they have better ideas. But I still liked it and it was kind of unexpected as you ultimately have him breaking Kia out and recruiting Coinless Trini, which I kind of like that because I think there was, you know, always a bond between the Trini and Billy characters through all the universes. But I think that maybe it didn't say this, but I feel like it's implied that he kind of used the fact that she's going to have affection for him since her Billy died to help. But he recruits them and they're kind of fighting against uh, the other main team members here that are trying to protect the power coins. And Billy even shoots the Phantom Ranger, he takes Kendall's Energem, and he blows up the, the, power, the power eggs. And it was really unexpected and I'm really curious to see where this goes and what exactly uh, Billy's plan is going to do after this and how the penultimate or the, the final issue resolves itself. I think actually I think that there's a final issue, and isn't there like a final one-shot, kind of like they did at the end of GoGo, -Go? but we're still in the end game, and it just wasn't the penultimate issue I was expecting. Like I said, it was laying a lot of groundwork, but it was also, in a lot of ways, surprisingly an intimate issue, which I really did kind of appreciate. Something else that was kind of a nice little bit was they dealt with like Rocky, Adam, and Aisha, in particular like Rocky, dealing with a little bit of like trauma from being under the spell of Dark Spectre as they're trying to readjust and wanting to reconnect with their families. I thought that was a nice little beat. Again, I appreciate when they make uh, moments for character stuff like like this. And I know this is a point that I've brought up multiple times through multiple different storylines, but I still do think it's unfortunate that for the most part, Rocky, Adam, and Aisha didn't get a whole lot to do character development-wise throughout the runs, with the exception of like small stuff. Like I think the biggest one any of them got, well I guess the biggest things was Aisha's romance with Matt and then Rocky's little mini arc when they were protecting uh, the planet from the Machine Remnant guy, Machine Remnant, the Machine Empire guy, while the Rangers were in space. That was a cool little arc. 
Uh, but other than that, they just haven't gotten fleshed out as the other Rangers. As I've mentioned before, one of my favorite things about the comic, other than the storytelling, is that like the core five, six Rangers we all know have become actually fleshed out characters compared to the cardboard cutouts in the TV show. And when they introduced Rocky, Adam, and Asia, I was excited to see their versions of this, but they've been kind of shuffled to the background. And now with only one issue and maybe a one shot, there's obviously not going to be time for that. And I think that's very unfortunate. But I did appreciate little details like that. So yeah, overall, I did like this issue. I thought it went in a way I wasn't expecting. I didn't know that's where this storyline with Billy was going. I didn't expect the sort of turning on each other ending. I said I'm not, full, I'm not fully on board with his motivations. I still have some mixed feelings on it. I feel like in a way it seems kind of sudden to me, but I do think it's interesting and I'm really curious to see how this all ends and where we go next. If we pick up from this like in any way at all, are we going to do a total reset or is this going to kind of lead to a reset if we do a new series? Kind of like the end of, um, I don't remember the name of the, the movie, but the end of the DC animated movies that was basically the new 52 where Flash reset it again and we got the new new ones. But now we're ending that. But anyway, that's not what this is about. But what did you guys think of the issue? Let me know in the comments as always. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell to get notifications for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.